Welcome back to our channel. In this video I show you how to use dictionary in C-sharp and Windows forms. To demonstrate the usage we create a simple translator tool. We starting with some slides to present what we need and after this we go to the practical part of this video. Feel free to use the chapters to jump to the part that you are interested in. I'm your host with over 10 years of experience and I'm happy to guide. So let's start. In the context of C-sharp Windows Forms, a dictionary is a powerful data structure that allows us to store and retrieve key-value pairs. Think of it like a real-world dictionary, where words, keys, are associated with definitions, values. In programming, this can be incredibly handy for organizing and accessing information. The syntax is quite straightforward. To create a dictionary, we use the dictionary key, value class, where key represents the type of our keys, and value represents the type of our values. You can use any valid C-sharp data type as your key or value. In this example we creating a dictionary with string keys and int values that stores the age of some people. Once we have our dictionary, we can easily add key value pairs using the add method. Retrieving values is where dictionaries truly shine. We can quickly access values using their corresponding keys. Practical part of the video. Now let's create a fresh Visual Studio project for our example. We use Visual Studio 2022 for this example. If you need help with the first steps or installation check out my basic tutorial for c -sharp to get an overview and start point. In the first step we create our UI for the dictionary example. You can change the style and use your own idea if you want. I use the Metro Framework style to have a better look. It's not needed to have the tool working, but if you are interested feel free to check my previous video regarding this topic. I link it in the video description. I increase the speed of this part. After this step we will start to code the needed stuff to bring function to the controls. Feel free to break or skip any section of this step. Now let's create our dictionary and fill it with the needed data for our translator. Once we have our dictionary, we can easily add key value pairs using the add method.
In this section we check if our dictionary contains the needed key and use the value for our translation output. If there is nothing available we set the text to no data. This is only a small first step into the world of dictionaries. Feel free to test in your own and let me know in the comments if you need more from my site, or what you are missing. This is our final result. We created a very small translation tool. Feel free to add data or change the function itself. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment with ideas, wishes, or improvements for further content. If you like my videos, I would be happy about a like for the video. If you want to support me further and not miss any videos, just subscribe to my channel.